Hey guys, my name is Mike Recubera. Today we're chilling at the beach and Bitcoin is at 8,647. It is at 9,702.59 bucks. Ethereum's at 476, rising towards 500 bucks. The market cap is, what, what is that, $275 billion? <sighs> this is getting pretty serious and the sun is, I, I'm not used to the sun. Anyways, uh, we are in Mexico. Stay tuned for this video today. Crypto's exploding like crazy. Whew. Wow, we need to redo that because it's currently at 9,682.5. The market cap has surpassed $300 billion and that is absolutely crazy because it's now approaching 302 billion where it's pretty much five to six billion every 24 hours and Bitcoin will hit $10,000 while Ethereum will surpass $500 it was close to surpassing 500, but then it stopped around 490 yesterday. And it's it's been a little bit, but I'm in Mexico, my friends, and it, oh my goodness, it's just all over the place. You know, you don't upload for a couple of days, but you're checking it every single day and crazy, $6 billion worth of volume over the past 24 hours. Now, as I have been saying, it's better to earn than to invest because even if you get 10 to 20 to 40% on your investment, what if you find an altcoin that does 50% or 100% or 500% instead of, oh, will it get 50%? Now, there's a lot of people who are cashing out. I know people who won a lot of money just due to the $300 billion bets. They're placing bets, they have a lot of money that they're cashing out, they're pulling back, but for every one of those individuals, there's five more going into the market. So recently I have decided, you know what? I've been thinking about it, I've been thinking long and hard, and with a little bit of beer, we decided, woo, you know what? It's, uh, it's gonna you know, have a correction, it's gonna have a pullback, but, but for the next year or maybe next two years or however long it's going to be, there's still going to be an insane amount of people going into it. Now, there could be a correction complete, like a big, big crash within the next couple of months. After, you know, Q4 ends during Q1, there could be an amazing crash or it could just plow straight on through. But what I do know is that every single hundred dollars Bitcoin goes up it gets me worried 10 times more because I think, I mean, there is a large amount of whales that are getting ready to sell. They're super excited about their Lambos. There's a lot of people who are like, oh, well, my limit's 10,000, my limit's 11 or 12 or 15,000 or 20,000. It's like, how far can you go? Even the people who get in possibly at $10,000 because it's at 9,682. While if we, you know what? Actually, let's check pexful.com. Let's check local Bitcoins, all these forums, see what people are buying Bitcoin at. Because usually on here, you're able to purchase Bitcoin. Uh, you don't have to give your ID. Well, in some cases you do. Let's say we're buying $100 worth of Bitcoin, US dollars. I don't know, just give me any. And people don't want to give as much identification and they don't want to be locked into an exchange like Coinbase. So if you are purchasing, depending on what you're buying with, it can be as much as, okay, perfect. It's 97 pennies on the dollar. This is with perfect money and you get it for $9,917. Uh, for Ethereum, if you just want to convert Ethereum to Bitcoin, it's going to cost you 94. So you're already purchasing at 10,300. If you're going to do Bitcoin Cash, it's at ten and a half thousand. Uh, there's other Ethereum's that are at eleven thousand. We're scrolling down. Where is like a normal, normal PayPal or normal? We got gift cards here at eleven thousand three hundred sixty-six. Normal cards scrolling. Oh, oh, oh! Finally, we got PayPal. Finally, we got PayPal. Seventy-two pennies on the dollar at thirteen and a half thousand dollars. And you know there's people purchasing this. 
We got these cards. We got Western. We got Weteller. We got Amazon gift cards. 69 pennies. We're scrolling to 68 pennies. We are approaching $15,000. People are purchasing at $15,000. And in order to sell, they probably are adding an extra $1,000. And you know there's individuals out there that are, you know, investing into this. They're getting super excited because their buddies told them, hey, uh, Bitcoin's going to reach like $10 million because John McAfee said half a million dollars. And then the next guy's going to say $1 million. And, oh, my goodness. But the thing is with this, listen. There will be more regions. There will be more people going on to the movement. And cryptocurrencies, blockchain as a whole, will keep advancing. We don't know when the pullback will happen. There are signs that it could happen soon. But it could completely just shock us as cryptocurrencies have for the past couple of months. Where a lot of people are stunned. Some people are correct. But as with predictions, you know, that's just why you don't want to make predictions. All you want to do is just play it safe. I'd rather play it safe than, oh no, I could have gotten 30%. Yeah, but I could have lost 50%. I could have lost 100%. It's better to lose out on the opportunity of making 10% than lose out on 100% of your money or even 20 or 50% of your money because there's always more ways to make money. But if you lose your money, earning it back is difficult. And then if you lose your money and you want to earn it back and you lose more money, you get into this vicious cycle where people get into debt then we start going into gambling. <laughs> we, we don't want to go down that route. But pretty much what I'm trying to say here is, listen, if Bitcoin hits 10000 or 11000 or $15,000, that's great. But there's multiple things you have to keep in mind. There's people who have already made a lot of money who will sell. There's other individuals who are purchasing Bitcoin for a lot of money and they want to sell at extremely, extremely high prices. Now, with the other altcoins, there is a lot of money fluctuating between ICOs, between Ethereum, between Bitcoin Cash, between so many of these thousands of other altcoins that it's like, listen, Bitcoin is the most popular, but with billions of dollars at stake here, we have to keep in mind that and other world events that could suddenly fluctuate and it's like, okay, Bitcoin's on the rise today. But tomorrow, there's 10,000 different vulnerabilities it has, and just one of those could set off a chain reaction that suddenly, oh no, there's FOMO or there's FUD, you know? There's these two things going on where it's fear, uncertainty, doubt, and it's like the fear of missing out. It's fear driving both ends. Fear and speculation, that's why it's going up or down. And it's so vulnerable that it's extremely, extremely high risk. A lot of people probably didn't get to this point in the video because you dropped off and you're like, well, I don't want to listen to this dude. You know, he's he's unprofessional. He's fil oh, oh, whoopsie. <laughs> he's filming from his apartment in Mexico. And yeah, the beaches are, the beaches are beautiful here. Anyways... Bitcoin's going to hit 10,000. It's already surpassed $300 billion. The blockchain, you know, it's going for $400 billion. It's going for a trillion. And there will be more people coming on board. If it is a bubble like the dot-com bubble, you know, that one was $5 trillion or somewhere where it's still astronomically far. But if there's another crisis that'll happen, which could be greater than 2008, you know, Maybe there's still time, and while there's still time, it's great to make money. But at this point, the best thing you can do is earn Bitcoin, and instead of focusing on Bitcoin, forget about Bitcoin, forget about Ethereum, focus on the other ICOs. Now, it's good to keep it Bitcoin in mind because you still need a little bit of Bitcoin in order to participate in these ICOs, and you know, you got to get Bitcoin to convert it to Ethereum, and then you'll purchase Litecoin or Monero or Dash or whatever. And, you know, forget about mining unless you find out a new way to mine. Whatever is going on, there's just so many different things at play here that I just want you to keep in mind that if you're thinking of purchasing right now, it's at an extremely high point where over the past couple of weeks, it's been climbing so fast that if it continues at this rate, you know, the more it grows, the more worried I get, the more worried other individuals get. And then, you know, it just explodes. There's a moment where it goes from 9000 to probably 7000 or $6,000 or whatever is going to happen. And $10,000, there's a giant wall right there. There's a giant wall. And since the beginning of making this video, uh, oh, I'll tell you, I have this other version from earlier today where it was at 9241 
it is at $9,702.59 and $478. And within just those nine minutes, you see... Are you kidding me? Wait, wait, wait. Within those nine minutes, the market cap rose $800 million? I'm not even kidding you. It rose like nearly $900 million, like $870 million within... What the... That's crazy. That is crazy. Well, I'm going to end the video here because it's probably going to take a couple hours to upload this due to the slow connection here. But the more it rises, the more I'd be concerned. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's good for the people who are making money. But uh, I'm selling whatever Bitcoin I have because I continue earning more and it's like I don't care. I'm cashing out. And, you know, as I hold a little bit and I'm selling a little bit, it's like, oh, okay, nice. I get 1% to 2%. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to get super greedy. Anyways, my name is Michael Cabrera. See you guys tomorrow, possibly. Bye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, so comment, subscribe, and share. If you didn't, dislike it. Comment why you did it. And, uh, yeah, bye. All right. We're just working here at the beach. There is a big giant boat over there and a jet ski and people walking and a palm tree it is uh it is good old mexico oh my goodness look at that sexy ass wave